Is that Bruce Wayne? You really think he'd show up here? Did you hear? You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. You know, Selena Kyle, there are men after her. Uh-huh. When aren't there? Well, these ones are trying to kill her. Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. Cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Nice to meet you. Uh... Frank. Yeah. Funny seeing you here. So much in the papers. Whole other thing, meeting the man in real life. You're shorter than I thought you would be. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. But whatever. <sighs> Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. I'm sorry things went down the way they did, but I have information. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. He should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> it's not my fault that you're in this, Selena, but I can help you out of it. Tell me what you know about Penguin. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I could take him. I appreciate confidence in a man, but not stupidity. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Oswald wanted Falcone out of the picture. Looks like he succeeded. So what? He wants to take his place? Maybe. For starters. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald... Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? I need you, Selena. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. Keep Harvey out of this. The less he knows, the safer he'll be. I'm sure his safety is your paramount concern. You and I... Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle? Penguin says, hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, Ah! <laughs> 
yet. They want more. Then let's give it to them. You fight pretty good, for such a pretty boy. Come on, this way! of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Uh, processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Hill is setting me up. Penguin's gonna take a shot at me. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice, the whole world was horrified at what Batman did to Falcone. You terrorized the mayor too. You could lose Gotham's goodwill completely. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Going as Batman is the sure bet. The whole city is already afraid of the Batman after what you did to Falcone. Try not to make things worse by going overboard on Hill. Battering the mayor is not a good option. Alfred, I'm not in the mood for a lecture. The city will thank me later if Hill tells me Penguin's plans.
Deborah, you incompetent. Dent's up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next 15 minutes by cutting your pay. Who's there? Deborah. Deborah. Is that you? Expecting someone? Maybe the pay would... Oh! Batman? What are you doing here? You know who Penguin is. So I've heard of him. So what? I've got nothing to do with that lowlife. Do you hear me? You're leaving out a few details. <gasps> I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Wayne, there's the real problem. He's the one you should be after. Every fiber of his being built on lies. It nice try. But Bruce Wayne is clean. No one born into a pile of crap that deep can come out clean. I witnessed firsthand the atrocities of his family, and he's the one who profited. <gasps> Security! Pick up, goddammit! Security! Oh. Don't kill me! I've done nothing wrong! I want the truth. And I'll break every bone in your body to get it. You're insane. Just like they say. A madman in a mask. Penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. Thomas Wayne sent her to Arkham, along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them. Something this big couldn't have been hidden. There'd be records. <sighs> with enough money, you can make anything, or anyone, disappear. <gasps> I didn't dare speak up. Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared to what's happening now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. You deserve whatever's coming for you. If I hadn't given Penguin what he wanted, he would have struck at the debate tonight. I didn't just do this for myself. I'm trying to protect Gotham. Finally! About damn time! It's Batman! Shoot him! Come on, get the mayor out of here! I heard everything, Master Bruce. What he said about your father. It must be difficult to process. I need to know what went on in Arkham Asylum. Uh, indeed. I'm just as frustrated as you are. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. I wonder what else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But... Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hills, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. None of that matters now. 
The only thing that does is stopping ours. The city needs you now more than ever. I'll, uh, leave you to it then. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Rumors persist. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Some- ha Harvey, listen to me. Your life is in danger. Because of Penguin and his thugs? Thanks, but there is an army of security here. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. It's not overkill, Harvey. It's a real- Please. I need to get this off my chest. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. There. Ouch, Harvey. Talk about a sucker punch. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we all know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham. No, Harvey. You can forget it. That's... disappointing. Right. Well, look, I have to go. The, uh, the makeup person is here. Guess they have to put on my face. Listen, I'm sorry we couldn't make this work out, Bruce. Harvey! Quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. I just had the mayor in my ear about your visit. And after what you did to Falcone. Listen, I value you looking out for the city, really. People are terrified of you, including my cops. Fine by me. Just give me the report so I can protect the debate. Fine. Just do it without splitting anyone in half, huh? The GCPD has orders to take you in. After tonight, I can't stand in their way anymore. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door! You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? 
She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? I think she's mending her ways. Oh, he's right, Lieutenant. I don't do the bad things anymore. Unless it's on request. Well, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha! Do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rates, income inequality, yes, a masked vigilante loose on our streets. At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn so sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. Maybe next time. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My double brothers and sisters of color, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that's rooted in your city. 
For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. This is spiraling out of control. They have no idea about the man behind the mask. Whoever it is, they're smart. Let someone else get their hands dirty. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Go on, love. You know what to do. moderator gets shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should incinerate the pool.
I'm not here to join you. I'm here to crush you. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. He won't be the same after this. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims.